everyone, I'm Sarah Lawson from So Sweetness, and I am so, so excited that the day is finally here to introduce you to the Minikins. Minikins are quick accessory projects that come together in 15 steps or less. They require minimal supplies, so a lot of them just use a fat quarter for the exterior and a fat quarter for the lining, minimal interfacing, and perhaps a zipper. There's a couple patterns with no zipper at all. So they come together really easily pleasant sews and they're great for making for holiday gifts, for craft fairs, make a lot of them really quickly. So let me introduce you to the Minikins. The Sidewinder pouch is probably my favorite of the bunch and it comes in three different sizes as you can see. Um, it uses non-directional prints because the fabric wraps around from one end to the other. You shouldn't use a directional print, meaning a picture of something, so a picture of a frog or a horse. It should be stripe or an all-over print, an all-over floral, something non-directional. I really like the handle and the side corners of the pouch, and um, it's great to make as a set. The small one fits pens or pencils, and the size large would be great for a toiletry bag. This is the Zeppelin pouch and it's got this great grab handle on the front on the same side as the zipper so very easy to open. And it's a really spacious pouch so it would be great for um, a men's dop kit or toiletries or a carry-on travel case. The nice thing about this pouch is that it's sort of origamis together so there's just the front and back portion and the handle and that's it so the sides and the bottom cleverly come together through the magic of sewing the cotton candy pouches are a great way to use your favorite large scale print so i'm a really big fan of using focal fabrics and as you can see they fit nicely on the front of the pouches the nice thing about the candy cotton candy pouch is that even though it has a slim lined look the zipper opens the inside of the pouch wide so you can pack all of your essentials inside and then it zips back up and has this really beautiful shape there's only front portions of the bag and back and then the side panel so it comes together really quickly and that top zipper is really easy to put in this is the Bellevue pouch and as you can see it comes in three different sizes it's probably the quickest project out of the 12 minikins to put together because it's just the front and the back piece, um, fabric pieces for the zipper tabs, and then just the zipper, and that's it. So it comes together really quick, um, and it has a lot of options, and the pouch stands up by itself. As you can see, it's three-dimensional. This is the Morsel lunch bag sewing pattern, and even though I've done lunch bag patterns in the past, I wanted one that came together really quick and easy, had a handle like this on the top, and it also has a recessed zipper to keep everything inside. So let me open it up so you can see the inside. So it's really spacious on the inside. I made mine with quilting cotton, but if you'd like an insulated lunch bag, you can interface the lining fabric with insulated fleece and if you choose to do so you can also make the lunch bag with laminated fabric which would make it really easy to wipe clean. This is the Moto pouch sewing pattern as you can see it comes in two different sizes. Both of them have the convenient grab handle on the front. This is the size small and I made it in a metallic Essex linen and this is size large. So let me show you what it looks like on the inside. So there's no binding. Um, the lining is inserted using a drop-in lining, which is really easy using my method where I use Dritz Wash Away Wonder Tape to attach the zipper, the exterior, and the lining at the end. And just a simple top stitch just secures all of the layers in place. This is the grab and go sleeve sewing pattern and this is also one of my favorites just for the fact that it's totally customizable. So Basically, I ask you for two measurements for your device, so it can be an iPad, a laptop, a Bible, it, really anything, as long as it's a square or a rectangle. And using the two measurements, so the length by the height of the object, I walk you through how to create this for your specific device. So I made this particular sleeve for my mom's laptop. I just took the measurements. Again, it's just going to be the length times the height, and the pattern walks you through the entire process, so 
your device will be safe inside this handled sleeve. There's foam interfacing as well as Paltex. So it's, it's really sturdy and this is what it looks like on the inside. This is the binary pouch sewing pattern. It only comes in the one size, but it's got some really interesting features on it. I used a bit of non-fraying fabric as a zipper pull, so this is suede cording, but you can use ribbon, a scrap of leather, whatever you want as long as it doesn't fray. And this is the only minikin that uses a bit of hardware. So this particular pouch has a magnetic snap on the flap to keep everything secure. And as you can see, even though there's the two zippers, there's just the one inner compartment. There's no binding on this one. Everything comes together really nicely just by sewing everything right sides together. And this is probably my second favorite pouch behind the Sidewinder pouches. I just think it's got some really interesting details on it, and it's a good size too. This is the iSpy pouch pattern, and at nine steps, it's the quickest sew out of all of the projects. This is size small, and they all have a clear vinyl window in the front. And the clear vinyl is really easy to work with. You don't need any extra steps. We'll just be sandwiching the vinyl in between two layers of fabric, so your sewing machine will handle it with ease. So I'm using this size small to store my Aurifil threads. Here's medium, which is great for a rotary cutter and scissors. That's about the, the length of this particular pouch. And here's size large, and I've got a, got a set of markers in size large. The desktop cubes are, as the name implies, perfect for holding things on your desktop. So size small is great for pens or pencils. Here I've got the size medium with my rotary cutter and scissors. And here's the size large. So this is a really good size. If you're a quilter, this particular size will hold three jelly rolls. If you're a knitter, mine can hit, fit a couple skeins of yarn. So these have a lot of uses. This is the Jet Set Cinch Bag, and even though it only comes in one size, it's very, very useful. So it's a very structured drawstring bag. It's got a double cord lock on the front for putting the cotton cording through and cinching it, as is this one that's closed. And it's got mesh pockets on the inside. So I've got my shampoos in here. This would be great for a carry-on toiletry bag. And let me just clear it out so you can see what the mesh pockets look on the inside. And this one comes together really quickly and it would be a great gift. This is the trifle tumbler sewing pattern. So this is a classic round barrel shape. It features a handle on one end and a zipper on the top. In three different sizes, here's what it looks like on the inside. And the inside is finished with binding. I hope you enjoyed this detailed look into the minikins. Minikins are great for any skill level, beginning bag makers to advanced bag makers. I think everyone will really appreciate how fast and easy these come together. So come sew along with me.